Despite the available of very potent antibiotics, the mortality due to critical care infections in the ICU is still rising and it has really increased multiple proportion in the last few years. We keep on isolating bacteria in the ICU. Many a times they are not responsible for infections. So I'll ask Dr. Suresh Ramasubban, who is the in charge of the critical care unit at Apollo Hospital in Kolkata, that you know when you isolate uh, infection, I mean a, a bacteria, you get a report and uh, the patient is all right sometimes. So what I'm trying to ask you is that how to differentiate between a colonization and infections in the ICU? Correct. I think this has truly become a million dollar question because it will save us a lot of money and we use a lot of antibiotics in the ICU as you rightly said. I think antibiotic use is probably the number one cost in the intensive care unit now. I think going back to Cox postulates is probably the right thing to do. In the sense Cox postulates says that an organism is responsible for, a, for, the, for the disease if it is grown in pure culture from a diseased patient and that is the key whether the patient is diseased or not and that is a clinical medicine and that's where the art of medicine comes in I think and as you rightly put it in the question itself that if the patient is getting better if the clinical parameters are improving then any bacteria grown in culture is not taken from a diseased patient but from some other human being or some other organism and it will grow something so I think eventually the distinction between colonization and infection is the core of intensive care medicine it's the contextual clinical medicine and that's where we clinicians should need to be vigilant and be taking care of it. So you have to get into the art of medicine and say is there infection, is there science of infection, is the temporally is the patient getting better or not. I think that's the key in uh, this, this. I think basically what you're trying to say is that if patient is all right and you have to treat a patient not the Absolutely. report. Absolutely. So basically colonization it is a clinician decision whether he should take that report and or disregard it and the, that brings to me uh, uh, very important questions how to select antibiotics uh, when you think a person has infection yeah, when a person has infection I think selection of antibiotics uh, uh, becomes uh, becomes the it's uh, absolutely not only important necessary but even the speed of giving antibiotics as we've seen we've seen many various studies showing that speed of importance speed of giving antibiotics is important giving an antibiotic there's no doubt it is actually uh, there's no real reason to even give uh, a science to say that if you don't if you have to give antibiotic it's very obvious it's almost uh, logical to us that if you have